even though it was doubles, what was it like, you know, when you saw your draw and you're playing the number one player in the world and then going out there and having him on the other side of the court? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously it was uh, it's an exciting matchup, um, kind of like a popcorn match. Uh, but uh, but at the end of the day, um, you know, putting aside the excitement, um, I was also excited to go out there with uh, with the deal, and uh, I knew that we had uh, enough skill and enough game to, to beat these guys, and um, that's what happened today. So I couldn't be more happier. In, in the second set, um, you double faulted and then double faulted again um, to lose the, the second set and send it to a tiebreak in the third. But then you guys came out really strong in the, and pretty much dominating the third set there. How kind of did you? rebound from maybe a deflating way to end the second? Um, well, first off, I wanted to keep things interesting for the crowd. So. <laughs> um, but no, you know what? That's just sport. That's, uh, that's tennis. That kind of stuff happens. Uh, not just to me. It happens to everybody. And uh, as soon as we went to the changeover, the most important for me thing for me personally was to have a short memory about it and also to communicate with uh, a deal that uh, I was ready to move on to the tiebreaker. Uh, and the, the, basically, pretty much the only thing I said to him uh, when we got up to the tiebreaker is, "I'm ready to, uh, you know, I'm ready to play to win here." So uh, that's just sport. That kind of stuff happens, and you learn how to deal with it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the secret to your partnership? I don't think there's any secret. Really, uh, you know, we played a few times before. Usually at this time, this tournament actually, um, and uh, you know, we spoke last night about some of the stuff that, you know, that was that every time we've lost our matches the previous times, you know, we, we felt the same in the locker room, and you know, this time coming into it, you know, Phil sent me a message saying, "Hey man, let, let, let's just leave it out there and just you know, play within ourselves and we, we, we play our game," you know, and. Uh, I think that kind of made me comfortable because he was on kind of the same kind of um, mindset that I was in, you know. So I think that from from that message last night, from when we talked, it felt gave me a reassurance that you know, like we're here and we're going to do our thing, you know. And, and, and I, I obviously enjoy that. So I think for I think for both of you, this was your first Rogers Cup win. Um, both as a team and individually and with other partners. So is it kind of nice to have that, that victory at your home tournament, finally get that one? Yeah, obviously, um, I think it's, uh, it means a lot to both of us. It's always hard to play at home. You know, you want to do well here, and for a deal being literally in his backyard, um, I think it's extra special to him. And, um, you know, we're not just here to, to win one match and make some headlines that we beat uh, a former number one doubles and the current singles uh, number one in the world. So, um, I don't know about him. I plan on keep winning. So, um, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's nice to get that monkey off the back, um, winning uh, you know, winning here at home. Have uh, either of you played against Novak in singles or doubles before? And I guess. Uh, uh, what is the difference between him as a singles player and, and as a doubles player? Um, I have not played against him singles or doubles, um, but I have played against you know other top ranked singles guys, um, and it you know singles is different than doubles you know so there's going to be certain things that you know he does very well in singles but doesn't really necessarily transfer onto the doubles court you know being quick at the net you know I thought. Um, we did a pretty good job of kind of cleaning each other, you know, um, you know, when he served, having, has a good serve, we able to kind of pick it off. Uh, same, same with me, and he was able to pick a couple off. Um, but I felt like he was felt a little bit slow at the net, you know, so I think we kind of targeted that uh, quite a bit early. Um, and obviously, you know, turning, he's only hitting like one area. We tried to kind of move it around. I thought we served really well to him, to Novak, that is. And uh, same with uh, Ned, Ed, you know, I thought we, we served really smart. And uh, you know, try to keep it away from their strengths, really. Any last question, Tom? Do you feel a higher level generally, just the way it's evolved, different does certain things when you're on the court with a guy like Djokovic? Um, you know what? Personally, from my end, um, uh, I practiced with him last year in Montreal, and yes, I was. You know, he does hit the ball very clean. Um, 
Uh, today, when we were playing, I don't know. I personally, for me, it was just another tennis player on the other side of the net, you know, in between the same line dimensions that any other tennis court. So, uh, yes, obviously he's got incredible skill, um, and he does hit the ball clean. Uh, however, doubles is a different animal than singles, and um, and I think that uh, you know, I wasn't overwhelmed by the fact that you know he was gonna. I didn't feel like I had to personally do more on my end, you know, just because it was Novak on the other side. With all due respect, obviously, to how good he is as a player. Yeah, same, same sort of thing. You know, I think going into a match like this, we're focused on what we're doing on our end, and we're not really kind of worried about what they're going to do. Yeah, they're going to have some great shots. He hits some great shots. He hits some bad shots. You know, it's like everybody else. You know, so I think you know going in. To this match and obviously going to our next matches, you know, if we focus on what we need to do, I think we'll continue to do well. Thank you.